Welcome and thank you for joining us for today's encouragement from Our Daily Bread on the 27th of January 2024. The Bible reading today is Proverbs chapter 25 verses 23 to 27. Like a north wind that brings unexpected rain is a sly tongue which provokes a horrified look. Better to live on a corner of the roof than share a house with a quarrelsome wife. Like cold water to a weary soul is good news from a distant land. Like a muddied spring or a polluted well are the righteous who give way to the wicked. It is not good to eat too much honey, nor is it honourable to search out matters that are too deep. Today's article titled Refreshing Words was written by Lisa M. Samra. Standing in the kitchen, my daughter exclaimed, Mum, there's a fly in the honey! I quipped back with a familiar saying, You will always catch more flies with honey than vinegar. While this was the first time I'd accidentally caught a fly with honey, I found myself quoting this modern proverb because of its wisdom. Kind requests are more likely to persuade others than a bitter attitude. The book of Proverbs gives us a collection of wise proverbs and sayings inspired by God's Spirit. These inspired sayings help to guide us and teach us important truths about how to live in ways that honour God. Many of the Proverbs focus on interpersonal relationships, including the profound effect our words can have on others. In a section of Proverbs attributed to King Solomon, he warned against the harm caused by speaking falsely against a neighbour. He counselled that a sly tongue results in dreary relationships. Solomon warned against the chilling effect of constantly using complaining words. And the king encouraged readers that blessing comes when our words bring good news. As we seek to apply these truths, we have God's Spirit who helps us give a proper answer. Empowered by Him, our words can be sweet and refreshing. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, please help me to reflect your compassion in my interactions by using gracious and kind words. Amen. Thanks for listening today. My name is Lorraine and today's encouragement was provided by Our Daily Bread Ministries.